No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, it's Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Nicholas at Bright Tangerine, a company known for their premium matte boxes and follow focuses. Uh, what's here? What, what do we have here, Nicholas? We introduced at the show this year, we introduced our very new Titan, which is a monitor arm. It goes for all accessories that you can mount on an arm that you would usually use an articulated arm for. We have designed this thing from grounds up, so we introduced a brand new transmission core technology. We're looking at a steel barrel that is making up for all the pressure inside the arm. We're looking at 2.5 tons of internal pressure. So that accounts for eight kilos worth of payload in total. The idea behind the whole system is that it's self-supporting, which means even if you open up, it's self-supporting, it is not collapsing. So when you loosen it it, it, it won't collapse? It will collapse after a certain point, right? So you've got a dedicated stop here, and then of course it's loose, but you can adjust the clamping force in very, well, non-incremental basically, and it goes up very gradually. That means even though you might have a small monitor with a little weight on it, you can make for perfect adjustments and you can find your sweet spot where you would not have to open up the system in order to reposition it. That being said, we all have directors on shooting that want to, you know, yank the monitor or do something with it. So basically, even if I clamp this all the way down, we have designed the system so the forces are distributed asymmetrical. We've got lots of clamping force in this joint, lots of uh, clamping force in the middle, and then we've got a little bit over here, which is enough to support monitors, but it allows for repositioning. Okay, great. So the friction at all the points is not the same, so you can pivot the, the monitor without affecting the rest of the joints. Basically, we call it our pivot joint, so that's exactly what it does. If, it, if this is too hard for you, because there's a lot of clamping force in here right now, we can then open it up, maybe a full turn of the lever, and then reposition it more easily. Cool. And uh, price and release? Well, release, oh, sorry, release will be this summer. We're looking at about $250 retail, but we're not sure yet, so more info will come. We're here looking at the Revolver. Tell us about uh, what's news. So the Revolver is our high precision follow focus unit. We're looking into releasing it this summer. It has a high precision new design gearbox and components that will allow for very low backlash and a very precise feeling that you get for your lens or for your lens that you rent out. And can you say anything about the timeline of the Revolver Atom, its smaller <laughs> component? The Revolver Atom will follow that since a lot of the components are based on the same principle. We're we're able to release it shortly after the revolver, but I cannot be more precise than that. Uh, price points? Uh, we don't know. Eh? Sorry. So Nicholas, what do we have here? As a new feature for the existing map box lines that we have, we designed the gripper trays, which is basically helping you out if you are in the adverse conditions and working with gloves. Sometimes, you know you need something that is really easy to manage. And so we designed the gripper trays can be managed with one hand, so you can get the filter out, put the new filter back in very easy, and then be ready to go. And retail for this? Also no pricing yet. The, grip, uh, sorry. <laughs> the gripper tray will be available also this summer. All right, thank you, Nicholas.